It's 4.30 in the morning, and Dilly the Boat's Beagle has won the battle over possession of the duvet. So I'm up, made a coffee, and I'm enjoying a roll-up while exploring the boatyard in the beautiful early morning sunshine. Of course, having won the battle, it's not long before Dilly gives up on the duvet and joins me on the bank. Dilly quickly makes some new friends. However, he's still very nervous about the water. After a good walk around the boatyard, it's time to get Uncle Albert up to face the day. Now this means starting the boat's engine for the first time. With lashings of hot water now available, I get on with the washing up, while Uncle Albert and Dilly the Boat's Beagle enjoy breakfast in the sunshine. The plan of action for the day involved a thorough scrubbing top to bottom of the interior of Royal Tudor. Getting rid of all the dust and cobwebs using a mixture of white vinegar and bicarb. The Eagle Eyed will have spotted that somebody's still having breakfast and it's lunch time. Let's have a closer look and see who it is, shall we? Why, it's Uncle Albert and Dilly the Boat's Beagle. That afternoon we took a trip out to the chandlery at Roxham. Now that's a week's wages I'll not see again. Having fixed our purchases to the hull, Dilly's friends from the morning brought their second and third cousins four times removed for a quick visit. We also had some other visitors. Finally, as the sun set on a glorious Wayford Bridge, I sat back with my feet up and enjoyed a beer, looking forward to another day aboard Royal Tudor.